Hello everybody, this is Kuba Kuba. Gonna be a quick video about my rifling cutter. The cutter is kind of tricky because um, stroke back, it needs to retract. If it doesn't retract, it will uh, rub on the, um, on the rifling and that is not good. So um, the uh, real ones have a mechanical way of retracting the cutter. So mine is a little simplified because I'm making toys, not nothing real. So here's the way it works. I made a little, um, a little model because trying to explain how it works, it just doesn't work. So here it is. So this is a <clears throat> uh, 10 times bigger than, uh, than my regular cutter. The, uh, so <clears throat> this is the basic operation here. This over here, this would be a set screw. And here, this would be a either ball bearing or a little taper. Like in this one, I have actually a taper that acts on it, not a ball bearing, but that is not important. So when the, you turn the set screw in, it advances the cutter up. And then, so, so it, the cutter gets advanced, getting pulled through the barrel, and then when on the way back, if you can see, it hits here, and it and it retracts. So, so it goes back through the rifling, hits this, and it retracts. So it doesn't drag. It kind of drags, but it doesn't put any pressure on it. Retracts, and then when it's through, it goes back to the uh, to the same cutting depth. And then once you go all the way around, cut every groove, you can advance some more. And then on the way back, it retracts. So it doesn't, <clears throat> it doesn't rub really tight on the rifling. Here on the back, there's a, it, it keeps pressure forward. This is the pivot pin right here, pivot spot right here. The, uh, the way, this is done on the real one here, real one, the homemade piece of garbage of mine. This is just a slot all the way through and then slot all the way through. And here at the end, this is where the pivot point is. So right here, right here, this is the pivot point. And this is the the taper that advances forward and back. Here, so the way it goes together is first we having the uh, the spring that that puts tension on it, so it goes back to the same spot. So that goes in. Then <clears throat> this is the part that keeps pressure, that the spring acts on it, and it keeps pressure on here, so it, it pushes it back into the same spot. So that goes next. It needs to be uh, in the right way. Yeah. Let's push this back. There we go. That's good. It's uh, loose. Now the cutter goes in. It needs to go into that spot. Right here. There we go. It's in. Now this is what advances the, the cutter itself. There we go. And this is the set screw that advances it forward. So let's see if we can uh, see here. There you go, you can see it advance forward. And then when the cutter goes back, it, 
it can go back so it doesn't rub up and then the spring over here pushes it back into uh, the same position so that's about it uh, there's a couple of other things this uh, needs to be ground round like this so the the cutter top of the cutter matches the radius of the barrel so that needs to be ground plus there has to be a, a relief on top and then another very important thing is <clears throat> this part this part right here so so this this is the cutting edge right here this is the cutting edge and it's very important that the cutting edge so it'll be easy to just make the cutting edge like this and if you do it like this it will not work what uh, what has to happen if you, you take a look at the uh, machinist handbook for certain materials it will give you actually what the angle is supposed to be so this needs to be ground flat there has to be a flat here just a little bit 10 or 15 thousandths of an inch is enough but it has to be a flat if it's a if it's a sharp corner like this it will dig into the material and uh, it will not work so so the cutter needs to be needs to have a flat then it needs to have a gradual relief and then the back relief so there has to be a little bit of a flat area so it's not not curved and uh, that can be done with a, a diamond hone or anything or a stone <clears throat> and then I will show you I made a little doodle of my 50 caliber cutter you guys can take the uh, measurements and go with it or design your own yeah so here it is so this is uh this is one that I built for uh, 13 millimeter barrels for, uh, for my uh, Nerf darts. Yep. It's for, yep, there it is. Yep. So that's it. That's all it is. Oh, it was made out of uh, A2 tool steel because it's easy to heat treat. I can do this. <clears throat> uh, you can pack it up in, uh, with some charcoal and then uh, heat it up and then just open it up. It hardens in the air, then throw it in the oven for like 400 degrees for an hour to temper it and it's good to go. For cutting brass and aluminum and soft stuff, it's, it's plenty good. So, uh, this is it. I hope you guys have fun and stay safe and uh, good luck. Thank you.